This is the Racing Carter Podcast. I'm your host, Ramon Weatherall Sr. And what is the difference between a mother's discipline and a father's discipline? Is there any difference? Because, well, according to some people, it probably isn't because some people say you, you don't even need, you don't need a father. So his, his dif- discipline doesn't, doesn't matter. You should know if you're watching this podcast, that's a damn lie. And I'm going to give you two, show you two videos that show you the difference. And I know there's going to be haters out there or people, not haters, who just have a difference of opinion, who are going to say, you picked those, you handpicked those videos. You looked for, no, I didn't. I didn't. These videos came across my feed and it just highlights if you are a father, you know I'm telling the damn truth. You know it. Now, there are some outliers. There are some mothers who discipline better than fathers and some fathers who are really emotional and who need to take a class and who need to watch the Raising Carter podcast. But for the most part, I think this is true. I think this is this 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 is this is on point. My assessment. Here we go. You should have gotten the car when I told you to. How many times did I tell you to get in the car? Go get in your seat right now. Just watching that just boils my blood. Just watching that. Just watching that. Just out any 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 father, I mean, any father that's watching that who sees that, like, oh, that's good. Yeah. But I agree with that. Then you're not much of a father to me. You're not much of a father to me. That is not how you get him to understand you need to be on time. What you're concerned about, ma'am, is your time. You're concerned about your time. How many times did I tell you to get? You're concerned about your time. You probably don't even want to go to this game, but you got to do it. You got to do it. For whatever reason, his father or somebody, some male isn't around. You, you got to do it. Or you... You see that he needs to do something, so you get him in some type of, you know, baseball or do something. And now, nah, but you really don't want to do it. And, you know, it's, it's you know, impeding on the stuff that you do, but you do it anyway. So you worried about your time. And you take off in the car, have him running behind you, and you filming it? What if something happened to him while he was running? Because he's not paying attention to what he's doing. You not paying attention because you filming and driving. Got him running after you. That That's how you make him understand that you need to be on time. No, ma'am, it's not. It's not. And I hope you got dragged in online because you should be. That's not how you get him out to do something. You want to know how you make him understand you need to be on time? You sit, you calmly wait in the car. You calmly wait in the car. You calmly drive to the game. If he so, most coaches will tell you we want you here thirty minutes before time so you can warm up. Especially baseball, you know you can you know, get some get some hits in. You know, throw the ball around. He might have a game plan. No telling how serious this coach is about helping these kids become good baseball players. Okay, you get there. You tell the coach, coach, he was not concerned with being on time for this game. This is not my doing. I've asked him several times to get in the car and get ready for the game. Him lollygagging around, him being here on time, being here early is not important to him. So if you decide not to start him, not to play him, it's fine with me. Actually, I think it's a good idea. And the coach will probably turn to him and say, you know what? You're not playing today or you're not starting. That's how you deal with that. Because the world isn't going to drive off in the car and have him chasing behind him crying. The world is going to just shut him out. The world's not going to let him play. Because newsflash, ma'am, any boy or any child who suits up to play in a game wants to play. He just doesn't know the importance to being there on time 
and being prepared. So you come to the game, you sit your little butt down, and you watch all your friends play, and you don't play one minute. And I bet you, if this is what you want to do, you will be on time next game. That's how you deal with that. That's how you deal with that. That's how you deal with that. But I'm going to show you the difference in discipline. Now look, I got something to tell you. And don't get upset because it's for you. I'm taking you out of gymnastics for the rest of this month. Keep running. Keep running. Come he dropped He dropped the bombshell on her. Come on, slide on over here. Come on. Relax. Stop crying. Because guess what? It's for you. Let's go. Let's go. Pick it up. Guess what? It's for you. You've been walking around here like you know everything. You've been acting all arrogant. You got this attitude. Your grades been slipping. You need to keep going. Don't stop. You ain't doing it but going to the park. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to get your butt up every morning. You're going to run. You're going to work on these pull-ups. And you're going to get stronger. You're going to develop your body. You're going to develop your mind. And you're going to develop some damn character. Yes, and sir. She's going in the Marine Corps, right? Huh? She's going in the Marine Corps. Nah, she, she's supposed to be a gymnast. But she got to get her. Some, I don't know, I guess some guy on the side, oh, she's going to be in the Marine Corps, right? No. She's going to get her butt together so she can do what she says she wants to do and respect her father and her family. That's what this, this, this is. This is a father's discipline. This, this is a, this is, this is another teaching moment. This is, this, this video should be shown. This video should be shown. This video needs to be highlighted and respected and saluted on its accuracy and, and the way it's done and what he's telling his daughter. Her attitude, he, gotta get her attitude together. Because it's just That's not right. for, for sons. It's it ain't just about because you can flip. That ain't what it's about. You really want to do this, you're going to have to have a good attitude. You're going to have to have awesome character. You're going to have to be a good person. You're going to have to learn what work, working hard is. And you got to develop yourself. All around development. When you come home, you're going to work on the stuff that you've been slipping on. You ain't focusing on getting on no damn trampoline, doing all these damn flips. You ain't going to keep having this damn attitude you've been having when I tell you to do something and all this talking back. You set trends. You don't just follow people. You want to follow other people? You want to act like this damn teenager? Girl, you nine years old. You gonna act nine. Push ups, chin to the bench, stretch out. I want 20 of them. Chest, chest all the way to the bench. There you go, one. I need 20. Yes, sir. Everything gotta develop, everything. And you as a person. You, you really want this? All right, well you gonna show me, show me at the house. Well, how you act, how you treat your brother and sister, how you respond to me, how clean you are, how responsible you are. Guess what, we already paid for this month. I don't care because that's how serious I am about this. I don't care. You ain't going for the rest of the month. If you can do what I'm telling you to do and you act right for the rest of this month, you'll get back in. You listen just now. You, they, they ask you to join the team and they want you to compete at a young age. You're getting arrogant. I know what you can do. That don't mean you finna, I'm just going to get you in competition. No, because it's about you and how you are in the development of you. You understand? That's what it's about more than anything. You overall not just being no gymnast let's go 10 more and i want to say this do you know how hard it was i know how hard it was for a father for him to have to do that especially to your little girl i do you know how hard it was and how many chances he probably gave her to get her attitude to get herself together and she didn't do it but she ain't running after no damn car she out there running, getting herself together. And every step of the way, he's telling her what he wants from her. Because, see, that's what fathers do. They make you think you can do anything. See, that's the difference. That's the difference. One isn't discipline. It's like a it's some misguided, misguided punishment. The other one is discipline. That's what that's what fathers do. We show you how to 
navigate in the real world. We get you ready for the real world because that's what's going to happen to you in the real world. You have an attitude. You don't want to get along. You treat other people bad. You can get out of here. You can go. We don't need you. Even it doesn't matter how talented you are. You are not getting along with other people. You, you, you're not a good person to be around. You're not helping the team. We don't need you. That's what he's making her understand. And to respect the people that love you. He took, told her, I paid for this month and you ain't going. And I know how hard that had to be for him. But I appreciate and I salute him for making this video because that's what is all. That's what that's how important it shows you how important a father is. That this moment, that moment of him doing this for her could 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 change her life. Could change her life. Could change her life. Her, him shutting down what she wanted to do and letting her, making her understand that if you want to do this, you're going to do it the right way. That's the difference between a father's discipline and a mother's discipline. That's the difference. And if you can't see that, then you can't see. And if you just want to, you know, make it seem like uh, this guy, he, he, he's against women. I love women. But any woman with that understands and has children knows that the male presence in their life is extremely important. And it's some things they don't even want to do. The first lady in the clip with her son running behind the damn car, if she could have it her way, she wouldn't even be taking him to that game. Not alone, his father would be right there with him. She probably would want to come and support her son, but him getting to the game and prepare for the game wouldn't even be something she she doesn't want to do that thing and she and it's obvious that you can see by the video she doesn't know how to make him understand he needs to be there on time so hopefully maybe a, the coach or somebody will see that and make him understand that but that's the difference between a father's discipline and a mother's discipline right there front stage for you. And like I said, if you don't believe it's true, then you just don't want to believe it's true anyway. And there's nothing I can do. So if this video brought you any value, check out the rest of our videos right here. Razor Carter podcast. And I'm out of here. Peace.